students and viewers, this is the theater from Morogoro. My name is Ford Mwakitega, a mathematics teacher from four. I welcome you to join my lesson and uh, on, this on this time we are going to discuss uh, areas and perimeters. Of course, we have a lot of things on that topic. But uh, we are going to start with the areas of, uh, we are going to start with the area of the triangle. Uh, the whole coverage of the topic it will be at the forest. We are going to cover the area of the triangle. We are going to cover the area of the trapezium. We are going to discuss uh, the area of the rhombus, the area of the parallelogram, the area of the rectangle. But also we are going to discuss the area of the regular polygon, N regular polygon. But also we are going to discuss the perimeter of the regular polygon. And also we will discuss the ratios of areas for mirror polygons. Yes, and I said we are going to start uh, by starting the first uh, part which is the area of the triangle. I hope you have a concept on that because you're discussing the area classes. For example, you discuss the uh, areas and the perimeters of triangles, rectangles, trapezium, and the uh, pyrogram on form one. But uh, what changes uh, at this uh, at this level that there are some concepts uh, for the same uh, figures, for the same areas uh, are going to be added. There are some concepts uh, must be integrated to the other, to the other knowledge from various uh, topics. So, match with me so that uh, you get the exact, uh, the exact knowledge of areas uh, and uh, and the perimeters of the of different polygons. As I said, we start with the area of the triangle. We know that the area of the triangle is given at the half base times the height. This is the formula finding that I hope you read that at a end level area than this one. But uh, we are saying that what is the base, what is the height of the, of the triangle? Uh, now let, let us consider the right angle triangle below. Uh, this is the right angle triangle. Here it must have a right angle. Observe here uh, this one and this one. Uh, they normally meet at a right angle and therefore this is the a right angle triangle. But on the right angle triangle, the base to be this one, and the height to be this one. And we are saying that the base and the height must be perpendicular. So as you can observe, as I said, that this should be a right angle, AC, and the AB should meet at a right angle. And this one should be the base, and this one should be the height. According to the formula of the area, now the area of this tri uh, of a right triangle and here the right angle triangle is ABC. Uh, as we say, the height is answer for the height and the base is answer for the base of the right angle triangle ABC. Now the area it will be it will be equal to a half BH a half BH. Yes, this is the, the, the form of finding the area of the, of the triangle, where uh, B stands for base and, uh, and H stands for the height of that triangle. This is the normal, I mean, the normal concept that we have. Now let, let us see the other concept on the same uh, the, the, the another concept related to the triangles, the area of the triangle. There are some uh, triangles whose their uh, out to the rise uh, within the triangle, and there are some triangles whose out to the rise outside. 
but rather train those whose they are to or they ought to the rise uh, is one of the side of the triangle. And for the case of the great Indo triangle, the ought to the is one of the side of the uh, uh, of the triangle. Now let us see the other cases uh, where the the ought to the rise either within the triangle or outside the triangle. Let us start with the triangle whose auto derives within the triangle. Uh, unlike the right angle triangle whose height is one of the side of the triangle, as we said, uh, triangle may have the auto which rises either within or outside. Now consider the triangle whose auto lies within the triangle. As I said, this is the triangle in which the auto derives within the triangle. Why, is, why are we saying that? Go to this one. The height. The height of this triangle. And here, the height of this triangle is BD. This is triangle ABC. Now, this one, the, the distance from here up to here is called the height because it measures the auto of that uh, triangle. And the, you should keep in mind that the head and the base must be perpendicular, must meet at a right angle, or whether when they intersect, they should meet at a right angle. As you can see, this is a right angle. Now, on this triangle, because our aim is to discuss the end of the triangle, and we want to see the we want to see how it will be if the, 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 the triangle, it is not the right angle triangle, and instead it is the triangle whose auto derives within the, within the triangle. From here, from here to here, this is CD, let us name it E. And from here D to A, let's call it T. This is the distance from here to here. So the root is from C to A, it will be what? It will be B. Then, what the concept it gives on this one? It should be noted that we have two triangles. Let us say again here on the triangle. We have two triangles here. All the two triangles here, they are right angle triangle, which we discussed that the area is given at the A. Uh, the, the, the product of a half a H and the base. And for this case, because we said from here to here to C, uh, T, it is B, therefore this one will be the base. Since we said this one, it will be the O to be the H of the triangle. And for E, we have this triangle whose base is D and the H is H. And the another triangle will be this one, which is C, B, B, C. This is also another triangle whose space is E and the H. Then the area of the triangle, how it will be? Now the area of the whole triangle ABC will be equal to the area of the triangle ABD. The first triangle, which is this one, the area of this triangle. And again, we have to add it with the area of this triangle. Uh, so it will be the area of triangle ABT plus the area of triangle BCT. This one stands for triangle. So wherever you find this one, know that it uh, stands for the triangle. So for this one, read at the area of triangle ABC. Now, triangle ABC and, B, and the ABCD are both right angle triangles, as we have observed there. And uh, the bases here uh, are D and the E respectively. But uh, both they are having the same height. Now, now because this is the right angle triangle and this is also a right angle triangle, therefore the area of triangle ABC, it will be the area of triangle ABC, ABD, which is this one, a half times C D times C H. And again, we have to add with the another triangle in which we say the base is E, so it will be a half times the base, which is E times H. Now, when you do this one, you can observe that this a half H, it is common, it appears here and also here. 
Therefore, here, what we can do, we can take a half H outside. Taking a half H outside here will remain with B, and here will remain with E. So it will be a half H, then in a bracket, D plus E. But if you remember, if you remember, we said, we said, this one, from here to here it is E, and from here to here it is D. Therefore, from here to here, it should stand for B. That would be the base of the whole triangle. Now, uh, so instead of using D plus E, we can say D plus E equals to what? Equals to B. Because that's what it will be then there. If you take a D plus a E, you get a B. Uh, so instead of using D plus a E, we can use now H. So it will be a half B H. As we discussed, this one is the base of the whole triangle, where H stands for the H or the O2D of the triangle. Then again, as we say, there are other triangles whose output lies outside the triangle. It is like this one. Yes, this one, it is the triangle. This is the triangle uh, A, B, C. This triangle. Then, here the H, it can be, it can be produced here outside. But uh, remember that. The height it must be perpendicular to the base. Therefore, if we prolong this one to this side, but because the triangle ends here, so here on this side we just use the dotted lines. But again, this H is outside, it is not a man of the triangle, therefore so we use the dotted, the dotted line. Then uh, this one and this one, make sure that they, they intersect you or they make you a right angle. So this one to be the triangle, but who's that to be the same one? This one. Hey. Now, our aim is to discuss the area of this triangle, of triangle A, B, C. The area of the triangle, how are you going to get it? Uh, area of uh, such triangle, but uh, with the concept that uh, the end of the triangle is given as a half BH for the right angle. Now, we can, we can observe two triangles here which are both right angle triangles. For example, if we consider this one, B, C, D. If we consider this one at the whole, we we'll find that this is the right angle triangle. Again, if we consider this one, A, B, D is also a right angle triangle. So we can use those triangles to generate the formula of the area for a case that uh, they ought to rise outside. But because, because our aim is to get the end of this one, so we can take the end of the whole triangle, which is a triangle B, C, D. And we have to take away the area of this triangle, which is A, B, D. So from this one simply, you take the area of B, C, D minus the area of A, B, D to get the area of this triangle, of triangle A, B, C. Uh, as we said, it will be the area of B, B, C, the whole triangle, then we have to subtract the area of ABG, which is the triangle formed by the dotted lines of the height and they produce the base. Uh, but observing those, as we discussed, we said all these are uh, right angle triangles whose bases now will be CD and the AD, respectively, uh, each with the height H. Now, because we said there to be this one and this one. Then, then to be equal to a half CD. CD, if you remember, it is the base of the whole triangle, which is this one. B, I mean CD, this is the base of the whole triangle. And this H to be the H of the whole triangle. So now it will be the same as taking a half times CD. 
which is the base minus uh, I mean, sorry, it will be the base, which is CG times H. Uh, again, for this one to be the same as AG, which will be the base times the H. So, now the area, it will be like this one. A half CG, which is the base of the ultra echo, uh, times the H, minus a half AG, that is the base of the triangle produced by the height and the uh, and the pro prolonged the, uh, base but you have to multiply by h so the form of funding has such a to be like that one but if, as we discussed it, that this one and this one are common a half h a half h it is common to the two terms, therefore we can take it outside. Now it will be the same as taking C, D minus A, G. If we take out a half H, it will remain C, D and it will remain A, G. But if you remember, if you remember to the triangle, if we, if we take this one, which is C, D, I mean, taking away this AG will remain with this one, AC. This AC, it is the base. It is the, the base. So, taking CD, taking CD minus AG, uh, you get B. Now, the area of the triangle ABC, it will be equal to a half BH, where B stands for base and the H stands for H. We have discussed uh, three types of, of triangles, but in all the three cases we are getting the same, the same formula, that is a half times base times height. A half times base times height. That is the area of finding the, uh, that is the form of finding the area of the triangle for any, for any triangle, any kind. It is important to know that any triangle, something that you must know first, it is the base and again the height. There, it will be easy to get the area of the, of the triangle. But apart from that, the concept of trigonometric ratios, it gives us again another, another, another formula for finding the area of the triangle. We are going to see how it works, but we are saying that the area, I mean the area of the triangle can be obtained by another formula which is now developed from the concept of a tree. Uh, and that one to works in a case when you are given two sides and an encoded angle. We are going to see what is the encoded angle. And let us match together. The concept of trigonometric ratios gives us the another formula of getting the area of the triangle. And the, in order to, to, to develop that uh, new formula, we should consider the, the, the triangle, this one, which is triangle ABC. This is triangle ABC. This is a right angle triangle, as we discussed, observing this one and this one, normally they meet at a, a right angle triangle. Uh, by normal formula, we know that to be a half times B times H. That is the normal formula. But uh, these are angles. Here we say it, is, it, it should be 90 degrees. But uh, this, it will be another angle, and this one, it will be also another angle. But call this C angle A, since it is marked by A outside, so we can call it angle A. And here B, call it angle B, and here it should be angle C. But the angle C, it is a right angle, so it equals to 90. Now, from the concept that the area of triangle ABC, this is the triangle ABC, it will be equal to a half BH, as we discussed it. Uh, but in a case when H is not given, when maybe you have two sides, but for the two sides you don't have the height of the triangle, then how it will be? If H is not given, and probably you have 
some angles of that triangle, you can use the concept of trigonometric ratios as I said. Let us see how it works. For example, from this triangle, from this triangle, we say if this H is not given, uh, this is the angle maybe you are given. You are given angle A and you have maybe B, but you don't have H. Then how it will be, you have to, to use the concept of trigonometric ratios to get this H. Now, uh, the trigonometric ratios which are set to this one since this H it is the opposite to A. Therefore, here we can use the concept of sine. If we want to, to find the, uh, the trigonometric ratios which relate to this H and C, so we can use sine. It will be sine of o, A equals to H over, hypo, over C. Since this C uh, it is the hypotenuse, the logistic side, the hypotenuse. But this one it is the opposite to the given angle. So now it will be this one over this one to be equal to H over hypotenuse, which is C. Uh, starting with that concept, as we say sine A, it will be equal to H over C. Since the hypotenuse, uh, since the opposite is H and the hypotenuse is C, now because our address is to get H, we can make H the subject. Making H the subject here, you can apply cross multiplication. Now this one to multiply P. So it will be H equals to C sine A. Uh, now the area of triangle ABC, it will be equal to a half B. But here we know that the form it says a half BH. But here H we don't have, but here we say the H, if you are given M of A and the program will have C, it will be equal to C sine A. So instead of using H, we can use C sine A. Now it will be a half B C sine A. You see? Yes, that's the way it will be. We have substituted here H. So this will be the, the formula provided the area provided we are given uh, one side which is B and for example we are given C and we are given another area. But observing Observing from the triangle, from the triangle here, uh, you can observe here, we said this a half B C. Here the included angle to be this one. It is the included angle because the angle made by side C and side B. So this is the included, included angle. Uh, so now the L to be a half B C sine A where A to be the uh, the encoded in, the encoded angle. Uh, this is the case for the right angle triangle. But now let us see the another uh, how it will be for the triangle whose uh, auto replies within the triangle. Consider the triangle whose auto replies within the triangle. For example, this one, as we discussed that we said, if we it is found inside the triangle, then we are saying that it is the triangle whose auto drives within the triangle. Here the base, it is this one. And here we have the auto, or the H, which is H. But we know that uh, our format says a half times B times H, that's the uh, the form of finding the area of the triangle. And for example, we are showing that we don't have H. For example, if we don't have H, but we have this side, and we are given this space B. Now, how we are going to, to deal with it in such a case? But also, you must have an A. For example, if we have here C, angle C. Now, the area will be equal to a half. Uh, a half BH, but we should now find the H. H and A with this angle are written in such a way that if we apply sine C, it will be equal to H over A. This 
so petty to be the apostle and go see. And this one to be the hypotenuse. This one it will be a right angle triangle. Here it, there is a uh, 90 degrees. Therefore, uh, the area which we said is a half BH, but we have to substitute it H, but before we substitute it, we must know how it will be. Uh, H is going to be obtained from the concept of trigonometric relations. And here, if we take sign C, as we say, the H is opposite to angle C, and the A it will be the hypotenuse. Therefore, C sin C it will be equal to H over A, since the sign it is defined as the opposite of a hypotenuse. And make H the subject, it will H to be equal to A sin C. Now we can substitute into the formula which says a half BH is the formula of finding the area of the triangle. So now it will, the area of the triangle will be equal to a half BA. B is the base, but A sin C stands for H. So now it will be uh, a half BA sin C. Again, observing on this one, uh, we, we should relate B, A, and C. Uh, on this triangle, if we relate B, A, and C, here A and B are sides of the triangle. And this, this C, it is the included angle. It is the angle which is made by this side and this side. So it will like, it, it repeats the same concept that eh? uh, we have to take uh, the sides, the two sides that will be given, and again we have to consider the angle which is formed by the two sides. So now the formula develops into a half B A sine uh, sine of C, but you have to remember that uh, C it is the encoded 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 angle. Similarly, for the triangle whose altitude out, out out is, I mean, the altitude lies outside the triangle. Uh, it is like this one. This is the triangle whose altitude lies outside. As you can observe in H, it is the altitude of the triangle, which is outside of the triangle. Now, this one, from here to it, will be the base. Uh, but, uh, because the auto derives outside, we can prolong this base so that uh, we, we intersect with the head at the right angle. Uh, prolong, prolong this one to D. This one to be the, 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 the base, the who base CG, and this one to be the head. But our concern. We are given this one and this one. So now we want to use the concept that when we are given two sides, and for example, if we are also given an angle, uh, consider now, for example, if we have angle C, how the formula of that, uh, the form of finding the area for such case to be. Uh, here we have to read this one and the height. So we should find the height here as usual. Uh, this height to be the opposite to C. Uh, and here we can use this uh, A because uh, it gives the same uh, vertex which is B. So therefore, we can write uh, what uh, opposite and uh, and uh, and the hypotenuse. This one to be the hypotenuse and this one to be the opposite. So we use the same concept of trigonometric ratios, which it to, we have to apply sine. We have to apply sine of this angle. Uh, if we do so. If we do so, uh, sine of C, sine of C, it will be equal to H over A. As we say, the A, it will be the, the hypotenuse, while H stands for the opposite. Now, making H the subject, H to be equal to A sine of C. This one, A sine of C. Now, uh, the area of the triangle ABC, it will be a half times b, a half times b. But we have put to multiply again by h. But here we say h equals to a sin c, so it will be a half b 
times A times C, but this A times C stands for the H of the triangle. So you can observe also to the triangle whose uh, altitude lies outside, uh, we get this one. We get a half B, A times C. Again, observing B, A, and C uh, on the triangle, you can observe that. This, this angle C, A and B, this A and B are two sides of the triangle and this C, it is the included angle since it is made by the sides A and B, A and B. Now, uh, the area of the triangle, it will be, it will be, it will be equal to a half a, B, sign of C. Generally, the area of the triangle is the half the product of two sides A and sign of the encoding angle. In that case, you are not given the height or the altitude of that triangle, but you are given two sides C and an encoded angle. The area of the triangle is the half the product of two sides C and sign of an encoded angle. This is the triangle to generalize our concept. We have uh, verses uh, A, B, and C. I think that one is called this side A, this one should be B, and this one should be C. These are sides of the triangle. Assuming that we have the angles A, B, and C. Now, the, if we are given N two sides of such a triangle, we have to use uh, the product, we have to use uh, the concept of uh, uh, using two sides and an uh, encoded angle. Now here, the area of the triangle ABC, it will be the same as a half AB sine of C. In our case, we decided to use this side and this side, and for example, we are given angle C. So it will be this one and this one, and the coded angle, it is angle C, therefore it will be a half AB sine C. But again, someone can use the another angle, provided you have the size C uh, of the triangle. For example, if we decide now to use B and C, and for example, we are given this uh, angle, it will be a half of BC, we have to take this one times this one, and again, we have to multiply by the included angle. And if we use this one and this one, the included angle, it will be A. Similarly, if we have A and C, I call to you get the picture for which one to be the included angle. Yes, the included angle to be what? It will be B. This is the included angle uh, of this triangle by using this one and this one. So by end of this one, you are going to get the same, the same answer. Using this one, using this one, using this one, you are going to get the same, the same answer. So provided you have two sides of the triangle and the probably you have an angle, an, an angle of, I mean you have an encoded angle uh, for the two given sides, now the area to be obtained by this formula. Now let us see uh, some examples to to integrate the concept we discussed it and the way it applies. The way we can face some questions. Yes, example. The first example. What it says: the base of the triangle is. 12 cm long. If the corresponding height is 7 cm, find the area of the triangle. The question says, the base of the triangle is 12 cm long. If the corresponding height is 7 cm, find B7. It can be a triangle. You can decide that because the question is serious about the kind of the triangle. So you can use either the right angle triangle or the triangle whose, right, or whose auto derives within or the triangle whose out, uh, auto derives outside. Now, for example, if we decide this one, this should be the base and this one should be the head. If 
you remember, we say it for entry angle, the formula is the same. Now, the end of the triangle, we know that it is a half BH, the base times H. Now, the area to be equal to a half times the base, which is 12 cm, times the height, which is 7 cm. Wait on this one, you get 42 cm. Here we just apply the normal multiplication. The second example, it says uh, the length of two sides of the triangle are 6 cm and 8 cm. Find the end of the triangle if the included in angle is 45. Here we are given the constant when we don't have the height, but we are given two sides and also we are given the included, in, the included angle. So, how are we going to work on that solution? We apply the formula we generated, uh, but uh, we can consider the that or we can consider the triangle like this one, and you can name by a letters, but here we decided to use A, B, C, and because it says one side uh, it is 8 cm and another it is 6 cm, so we can use this one, this one. But also we are given that the, a, the encoded angle is 45. Therefore, the encoded angle will be this. So make sure that the encoded angle, which is the angle formed by the given size of the triangle. And for our case, this one and this one, the encoded angle will be this one. Now, the area, yes, the area will be equal to a half times 8 cm times 6 cm times sine uh, times the sine of 45. Since we say uh, we are given two sizes, so it will be 8 cm and 6 cm, but we have to multiply by the sine of the included angle, which is 45. Working on this one, uh, you get 24 cm square times the sine of 45. Then working on that, you get 16 0.97 cm square. Therefore, the area of that of the given triangle to be 16.97 cm square. Our lesson today can see here. Uh, but here I prepared some questions for you so that you can consolidate the concept we discussed and the ways the questions here appears. But the ways you can see me in life. Uh, thank you so much for matching with me from the start to the end. I invite you again and again to visit, to visit us so that you get the good uh, results.